Hello, and welcome to another episode of Honey Bad Racing, Race School Racing. And this, today, we're going to be cutting and have a look at seeing what's going on with the chassis that we've got, not chassis, that's a body. The body that we've got back from the shot blasters, and then we've got the, the old one that we're going to use as a bit of a, a parts and a bit of a donor. So, before we can do anything else, we need to move the chassis out, we need to move the body out, move the new body in, or the new old body in, and then we can mark it up and we'll show you the places we are going to repair, hopefully. Right, let's crack on. So when the, both the bodies were next to each other, we noticed that our floor was a lot higher than the other one we had. So, we thought we'd give it a measure. All important measurement. How big is it? It looks about it looks about it's eight about, inches to me. It's about uh, eighty-three of the um, beautiful metric system and none of this imperial crap. Eighty-three. Eighty-three millimeters. How much? Eighty-three millimeters. That is eight inches. I don't know why you're massive. Doing. That is that's at least six inches. At least. So it's 62. Oh, 62. So we are 20 mil. 20 mil that's lower. a lot, actually. That 20 mil higher is the That's probably saving you a good kilo in weight. Hmm. I mean, are you just going to keep it the same because you want to be taller? Or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, no. Because you want to reduce the weight. Extra yeah. downforce. Well, lower centre of gravity. Yeah, exactly. that's what you want. Like a go kart. So the floor's a problem for another day, so we're going to cut the boot out first and then start sorting the rear of our car out. Once we've got the rear done, then we'll move on to the floor and then put the floor off the grey car on the primed car, the red primed car. And then the floor will be sorted, we'll sort the A-pillars out, but first we need to sort the rear. They're the easy bits, get the easy bits done first, and then we'll move on to the hard bits. I'm very wet, um, but it's going through, cutting through, nearly there. Um, just got a little bit where it's been welded. Uh, I've just seen here. Oh, I'll get these gloves off. You can see from this side here, it's been welded again. Here's so just it's double, double stick here. So we're pretty much off this end here. Just got to go back through the welding that's on that side there. Um, thought I'd be able to just take it off from where the structural bits are, but that's not it's not working. But no, I think it's been it's been welded on like a double skin here, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go through and and cut along rather than just be able to nip them off at the tops. Which is a little bit frustrating. It looks like this part here is separate to the actual boot floor. Um, so it's, it's gonna, gonna have to, we're gonna have to split it along this line, I think. Um, okay. What are you doing, BG? Hi. Welcome to day two of doing stuff with the car. Stuff and things. Um, what we've done for previous is we've taken out the top of the boot from the uh, donor. Just going to go here in the end. But at the moment, what we're focusing on is just patching up all the other little bits around here. So we've got a, a lovely little 
I've got a little rusty bit here where she's gone through. So this is going to get uh, it's going to get cut out, and then uh, like a, a new piece is going to be made, fabricated for it. So we can put it in here. Simply just weld it in, nice and easy. Um, same thing happening here. Uh, whilst that's happening, I am going to be simply removing and stripping down. <laughs> these lovely wheel hub assemblies, inclusive. Um, just seeing what we've got. We've obviously got, we've got new parts coming. Um, just get it all down, give it a nice good clear, clean up, um, get it looking nice and new. And then put, put it all back together again, get it ready. So once that's done, we can just slap it on and- Have our actual rolling chassis. And, and go racing. Yeah. Just simply racing. That's all we need to do. Yeah. Just get in, once this is on, that's it, done it. That's it, yeah. lights out and away we go. So BG's just stripping down some of the rotor flex suspension from the GT6. Uh, we'll be using this on ours. Uh, it just gives us a bit more adaptability and hopefully gives us a bit more pace around the circuit. Lewis there is just prepping the rear of the car, ready to build, build some panels and to weld up those two light sides which are really quite rusty. Break. The drum and brake? Drum brake. No, not the drum, drum and bass. Break. The drum and bass. I am the drum and bass father. Father. <laughs> um, cool. I'm sure Kane will cut this out. We'll go again. Oh yeah, because yeah. he, he messes all the jokes about his hate. But... <laughs> yeah, short, short man. Um, cool, lessons with BG. Brakes. The uh, shoe and drum brake. Uh, these are the shoes here. Shoe. Shoes. All lovely. And this is a drum. Not like a, even though it does make noise like a drum. Um, so basically how these work, you push your foot on the brake, brake pressure goes in here, and there's a little piston in here, which, see if I can do it, will push this shoe out, which when it's inside, see that there? When it's inside of the drum, will make contact with the drum and sort of like, just grips the drum from the inside to, to slowing it down. This one here is a leading and trailing setup. So this is the leading shoe. So when you push, this shoe will, will push out. Um, and then, then this one here will like effectively follow it. Um, or it will trail it, leading and trailing. Um, but there is a sec separate type you can get with two cylinders. So when you put your foot on the brake, um, the hydraulic pressure will come in and push out a cylinder at the top and at the bottom. Um, so it'll push like this one here. When you push it, it goes out like that. Oh, don't break it. Yeah, don't break it, like this. And it will also do the same at the bottom. So it gives you, I'm not gonna say double, but it gives you, yeah, improved braking, braking efficiency. For the, for the racing setup, obviously, when, as you're going around, it's getting hot, it's going to effectively work as an oven as you're going around. This this is going to get hot. There's not really a lot of airflow, um, so it retains then? heat. And then, as I have learned previously, um, you get brake fade, which is when you put your foot on the brake and nothing happens because they're just too hot. And like in the summer, it's too hot to work. You just want to chill out and not do anything. And that's what your brakes do. And then where do you go? And then you go straight into the wall of the Nurburgring <laughs> on a Sunday. Uh, 880 euros on the spot and they charge you extra because it's Sunday. <laughs> now Lewis is welding in the braces. These are important because you see the floors that are knackered. We're going to have to cut those out. So the braces are going to be put all the way around and that will give us some rigidity to be able to cut the floors out and not lose any flex in the body. We're also going to give Brandon a little go on the welder as well, because he's never welded before. We'll see how it goes. So what we've done now is we've put the supports in there and there. Um, the welding's not great, but it'll hold. We've also just put in a little bit across cross beam so that we can hold a little bit more rigidity that way. What we're going to do is we're going to have another beam that goes from here to the other one and then just weld it up so it's a bit like a hitch. And that'll be good. And Brandon's never welded before. 
It's been tacked in the other side. And um, yeah, so let them loose. And whatever happens, as long as it's got some strength, there's more strength than no strength. That's the plan. No. Something happened. Did you weld the tip? Yeah, you weld the tip. Yeah, I'll put it too close. Hi, I'm Ben. Hi, I'm also Ben. This bit of metal, limited tools. We have limited tools. We've got a cutting disc. We've got no vice at the moment. That's on order. Uh, the bender that we ordered isn't very good. So we're using the panel beating we've got and, uh, and a cutting disc to like holding it in a clamp of oh, prescriptions. Right, so we've made this. Show me around. In this angle feels good, but. So we've cut this out, all the bad metal around there, and then we've left this for now. And in this, we're not metal, like, we haven't done this before, so there we go. Um, so this fits in like this. And then the idea is that we seam weld this up here, and then seam weld this around here. And then this bit here can be trimmed. Once this is welded in, we can get our panel beaters and just beat that into line with this and then run a weld down there. And there. Once that's all welded and nice ground down, so you can't tell, we'll have to redrill this hole here, uh, like the other side, ground is done. And then once that's re-welded re and that has been drilled, we'll cut a little square out of here of some description and then put one in there and then weld this all the way down here, grind that down so it looks like this and then should look like a factory. Good as new, eh? Hopefully. So well. And Brandon's done that side. You don't get to see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be in separate cut, uh, separate part. We're doing this front bit here, then we're gonna weld these two together. So it makes a solid piece. Stick that in there like that, and then do a back end as well. Just all cut it out. Lovely. So I'll make you do what we got. It will look good at the end. And at the end, it'll look it'll look like brand new. Just a. Uh, brand new. Yeah. Just to trust the process, eh? Person with that camera, it just films rubbish. The amount of stuff, there's probably like three hours of footage that's just like Shit. the other day he it's was recording. Talking. The other day he was recording, right? And I was like watching it and I was like, oh, this is quite good. Then he puts the camera down, face down on this, and there's 30 minutes of the back of the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's black for 30 minutes. 